One of the cool things about using the uh, TI MSP430 launch pad is that it's very easy to get your projects from the development board to a breadboard or a uh, or a PCB. Uh, and it's also easy to program these uh, MSP430 chips in circuit. You can actually use the uh, launch pad as an in circuit programmer using uh, Spy by Wire, which is accessible on these jumpers here. Uh, the first step is just to pull these top three jumpers off so you have access to the VCC. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but we have a. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see. We've got VCC test and reset pins, and we're gonna be concerned about hooking up on uh, the left side of the board over here where the USB port is, because we've now disconnected uh, these pins from this side of the board here. So. It doesn't matter if you have a chip in here or not, it, it, uh, it makes no difference whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and hook up, show you the connections. Uh, first, we're we are going to use this ground pin here, too. We can go from ground to ground of the MSP430. Then we're going to go from VCC. On the left hand side here, if you're looking at it like I am, to VCC of the MSP430. Okay, and then we're going to go from test. Oh, wait, sorry. Go from test over here. To test. It's the fourth one over. One, two, three, four. To test the MSP430. And then finally, we're going to go from reset to reset on the MSP430, which is right next to test. And you can just use the, the layout of the, uh, you can just read the pin labels here and uh, connect them on your MSP430 the same exact way. So now we're just going to hook up, just going to hook up the uh, USB cable. go to the computer and I'm going to go ahead and load this uh, load this one up. Okay, we're now in Energia, which is the uh, Arduino-like IDE for the MSP430 and here is the blank code and I just made a few small changes. Uh, we're going to use uh, pin 8, set it as an output and then in the loop it's going to go high, wait uh, 100 milliseconds, go low, wait 100 milliseconds and start over again. I moved it from uh, pin 14 to pin 8. and uh, That's it. Now this, as far as the settings go, you can leave. You don't need to change the programmer. There's nothing to change here anyway. It's going to work. Uh, just make sure your COM port is right and make sure you've selected the correct processor. In this case I am using 2553 and then I'm going to go ahead and upload. And it's done. And that's all there is to it. We're going to go ahead and uh, program up each one of these chips. And I'm going to exit out of here since you guys see what this looks like now. Now for the last chip, just so you know, uh, I am going to be going to uh, it's a 24, three of these chips are 2553's and the uh, last chip that I'm going to program is going to be a 2452 so you're going to hear me talking about changing the uh, chip type here that's what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be selecting uh, this 2452 alright let's go back to the breadboard 
Okay, we're back at the breadboard, and uh, all we're going to do now is for these next two chips, I'm just going to move. So, so I'll unplug the board each time, but I'm just going to move these jumpers to the next chip. Okay, then I'll plug the programmer in. And I'm just going to hit pro hit uh, upload. And you guys will just have to take my word that it's actually taking the code. Okay, that one's done. As an alternative, you could actually, you know, program the chip in the uh, launch pad itself. I just hit upload, by the way. You could actually just go ahead and uh, program the chip in the launch pad and then pry the launch pad out and then put it in your circuit and then try it. And then when it doesn't work, you'll take it back out and put it back in the launch pad again. But uh, that's not very efficient. And each time you put the uh, MSP430 chip in and out, you have a real good chance of bending the pins. They're pretty fragile. And this board is cheap. These MSP430s are cheap, but there's no sense in uh, damaging them just for the hell of it. Okay, one more. And this uh, this last MSP430 here, it's actually MSP430G2452. So I'm going to have to change the board type in the program, like I told you about and hit up, plug in the board and hit upload. Then we're going to go ahead and wire up our circuit. Okay, and it took the program too. Alright, so we're good to go and we don't need the launch pad anymore. Now we're going to go ahead and wire up the circuit. Uh, it's real simple. And you'll see I have these LEDs. Uh, I have the, uh, the positive leg of each LED going to uh, pin number 8 on the bottom. These pin numbers go 1 to 10, 11 to 20, like that. So I have the positive leg going to pin 8 in each uh, each MSP430 and I have the negative leg going over to the negative power rail. And the first thing I'm going to do is I have these two separate power rails. I'm going to connect these two rails with a couple of jumpers. So my power rail extends all the way across. Okay. Now good we can see that coming a little tighter. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook up ground and power for each, Ar uh, I keep wanting to say Arduino, ground and power for each MSP430. So VCC is down here. VCC is pin 1 on each MSP430. Pin 20. And 
this is one thing I love about the launch pad is it it's so quick to get a project onto it okay now what we're going to do is uh, one last thing or one of the last things we need to do is we need to tie a reset high on each one of the uh, MSP 430s so you're supposed to use a I think 4.7 K ohm resistor I'm not going to use a resistor I'm going straight to high but I did tell you two three four five it's right here I'm going straight to VCC with that pin and then I'm going to make a little cheat cheat a little bit here I'm going to go ahead and just go from this reset pin to the reset pin on the next one which makes no difference whatsoever just to kind of keep some of the clutter down okay and one two three four five okay I think we're almost ready to go here uh, I've also got a two double-a battery pack three volts and yeah I think we are ready to go that should be it so I'm just going to plug my battery pack into any location and hopefully we'll start seeing something happen and there we go each one of the uh, MSP 430's is working fine now just for you, you people out there that uh, like to use current limiting resistors you should, I didn't there again I'm living a little dangerously but I just programmed up four individual MSP 430s and wired everything up in less than 10 minutes including programming so this was just an example of in-system programming uses in, using the TI launchpad thanks for watching bye bye